what's going on everybody uh, before we get started on the next video here I've been getting a lot of comments and uh, questions lately about marketing you know if I only had so much money to get going uh, where would I put it um, what do I use for marketing and so uh, that is kind of a big thing you know in order for us to get jobs we got to get our name out there we getting in front of people so uh, let's talk about that for a minute the three things that I do and I think you're kind of doing yourself a little bit of a disservice if you're not doing more than one just because um, like for example I, I use a lot of Facebook but not everyone uses Facebook so if you're only using Facebook which I think Facebook is absolutely great um, you might be missing out on people so let's talk about doing a few of them and, and what the price points are and and, and it, you know where I find them uh, how I rank them how effective they are so the ones that I started out with in the beginning um, and I still use today is the uh, direct door mail EDDM which I do through uh, USPS the Postal Service but you can get them through you know there's there's services online that'll do them for you I think uh, UPS does them probably FedEx does them. I mean you can get them anywhere I use UPS or USPS and I use them through a local print shop so I can email my printer and send them some images of gutter cleaning or uh, like right now I'm doing some I'm sending some out for snow plowing and gutters over the summer uh, obviously we're gonna be doing house washing roof washing things of that nature so I can send them some pictures and and kind of email and tell them how I want the layout to look he'll send it back with a, a proof and say how do you like how this looks um, I'll give them the okay to print then I'll go to the uh, the web I'll go to the UPS dot or you uh, USPS.com for the Postal Service and then click on their tab for EDDM and then I'll type in the area the zip code or the town that I want to mail to each town has routes and it'll be the zip code and then it'll say R for route and then like 001 002 um, all the way up so I'll figure out which neighborhoods and which routes I want to send them to and I will send him the route number and they will do everything they will print it and they will mail it so it's it's pretty hands-off um, you can have a print shop just print them and then you can actually drop them off at the post office yourself it'll save you a couple bucks um, but for just for the convenience of me not having to do it um, I'll just pay them to, to do the whole thing so where you guys get your prints from and where you're mailing to there's gonna be different pricing so um, you'll have to figure that kind of stuff out on your own and what kind of deal you can work with your um, with your print shop but they are very effective they get mailed out and they go right to the customers door so in comparison with a couple other things like uh, home advisor which I'll touch on more in detail I just want to talk I just want to say something about this for a second is with home advisor the way that works is you get someone will, they'll go online and they'll create an account and they'll say I need a gutter clean so any uh, anyone out there that does gutter cleaning that has that in their system so you when you set up with home advisor you say I want to be contacted in my area for gutter cleaning house washing pressure washing whatever it may be you're gonna get a notification that that customer is looking for a gutter clean the only problem with that is that seven, eight, or 50 other guys, depending on how uh, populated your area is with uh, these type of uh, services, everyone else is also going to get those notifications. So that customer might be getting five or six or 10 um, price quotes. So you have a lot of competition there. Um, so you gotta make sure that you are uh, competitive with your pricing when you're on HomeAdvisor. Or what I typically do, since Home Advisor isn't a huge piece of my business, is I will uh, kind of price things lower than I normally would on Home Advisor just to get the job. Um, and that's all personal preference. Um, you guys can do uh, you guys can do that however you want. But back to the EDDM, when you send out a mailer and it goes to someone's door, maybe they're not even thinking about getting a gutter cleaner or a house wash, and maybe no one else is advertising to them. They're gonna get your ad right in the mail, right to the door, they're gonna hold it in their hands, they're gonna call you, and typically what I found is that the price you give them is the price that they're going to take. Now, some people are gonna haggle with you a little bit, you might have to swing around 25 bucks, but um, 
you don't have to so much worry about the undercut so of, of other people so the EDDM will kind of allow you to dictate a little bit more because you might be the only person that's providing that service now when I sent out a lot of uh, mailers for house washing and roof washing and stuff in the beginning of the season I wasn't having anyone question my pricing I would give them the price I would give them the quote and they would accept it so that was really convenient on the flip side though the EDDM is by far the most expensive marketing I just had a thousand um, I just had a thousand printed um, well, let me talk. I had a thousand printed for plowing, but that's in a very small area. So let me back up. Over the summer for uh, house washing and roof washing, we're all all travel fifty miles or fifty mile radius. I had five thousand printed for that, and it cost me about seven hundred dollars to print, and it's about the same. I'd say about six or seven hundred dollars to mail. So you're you're in it about twelve. Sorry about that bumpy road. You're in it about twelve hundred bucks when you're doing the direct door. But realistically, two or three good jobs will pay for all that, and then uh, the rest is all going to be profit. So that's EDDM. I like it a lot. It gives you a lot of uh, it gives you a lot of control with your pricing and, and getting in front of customers. Uh, what I typically do is I'll play around on Google Maps, find a densely populated area, then I'll drive that area, and I'll look. I'll be like, all right, there's a lot of houses in here. People take care of their property. Looks like they take pride in how it looks. Uh, there's a lot of houses on the street that have black roof, moss on the roof, dirty houses. So this seems like a pretty strong area to mail. So it, it, it'll be worth my it'll be worth my time and uh, and my money to, to send it there. So the next one I want to touch on is uh, is Facebook. Facebook is incredibly user friendly and it's a, a really great economical way to get in front of a lot of people. So like I was saying earlier, I sent out 5,000 mailers for about, uh, let's just say it was 1,200 bucks to print a mail. You can reach thousands of people on Facebook with a, with a targeted ad for like 25 bucks. Um, the, more money, the more money that you throw at it, the more people you're gonna reach. Um, I typically don't go over 250 bucks uh, for a mailer. Um, and you know, next next year when the season's starting out, I'll probably be sending out a bunch of those two hundred dollar mailer or two hundred dollar ads. Um, and Facebook will tell you how many people you can expect to reach a day, and it's usually anywhere between a thousand or three thousand people that are going to see your ad. People can message you right on Facebook, and again, it's just kind of the same as the direct door mail, where they might be, you might be the only ad that they're seeing. And a lot of times on Facebook, the same as EDDM, when I give a price, it's accepted. Um, there's not a lot of competition. So Facebook is really good because, um, again, you can reach a lot of people. You can reach more people than the direct door mail um, for a lot less. I think you can start doing ads on Facebook for like five bucks. So if you're looking to do something small, uh, just get started, whatever it is, just kind of test the water. I mean, you can you can be you can be reaching hundreds of people um, for 10, 15, 20, 100 bucks, whatever it is. So. There's not really too much more to say about the Facebook. It's pretty, um, that one's pretty easy and, and self-explanatory. If you guys look back through some of my older videos, there is one about uh, Facebook marketing where I actually took screenshots step-by-step -step of what you need to do to post those ads, how you're gonna uh, select your audience, uh, your radius, uh, your price point, everything like that. So check out that video. Um, last, I think last, um, would be Home Advisor. Home Advisor is a little bit of a pain in the tuchus, I will say, but it has brought me a lot of money. So with Home Advisor, you have to when you sign up with Home Advisor, I, I forget what it is, but I think you pay like a two hundred and ninety nine dollar fee. You're gonna have to pay that every year to be listed as a pro on their site. Now again, if if you guys haven't gotten started yet, that three hundred dollars can sound like a lot. It was to me. I actually. Think I'm pretty sure I signed up with Home Advisor before I even did any other marketing, um, and you know you haven't had any business come in, and you see that 300 bucks, and you're like I don't know. But once you guys get going, I mean, making 300 bucks, you should, it's 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 nothing to do two or three 300 dollar jobs a day. So that that yearly fee has been long paid for um, for myself, um, long long time ago. So I'm not not too concerned about that. Every time a lead comes out, whether it's for a gutter clean or a house wash or a roof wash, whatever that may be, 
you have to pay, as soon as you get the lead, whether you get the job or not, you have to pay a fee. And that can be anywhere from 15 to, to, to 25 bucks. So you have to pay a fee whether you get the job or not. Again, sounds like a lot. Um, and and in, in the beginning, I actually kind of got in a little bit of an argument with customer service at Home Advisor because I was getting five or six leads and I wasn't getting, I wasn't hearing back from the client when I messaged them or they weren't accepting my price because of the competition. Um, and I was getting uh, charged lead after lead after lead without closing any jobs. So I actually tried to cancel. They talked me into staying, they credited me for some of those leads and they promised me that if I had stuck it out, it was more of a waiting and a numbers game. If I stuck it out, it would pay for itself. I'm glad that I stayed, I'm glad that I listened because I have gotten some pretty decent jobs, some pretty big jobs um, off of Home Advisor. All the leads that I have paid for, the leads that I've missed, the jobs that I haven't won, um, the jobs that I have won has outweighed all those costs. Like I said earlier with Home Advisor, once you get that notification, so is everyone else in the area. So you're gonna have to be on, on point with your pricing. You might have to go a little lower on Home Advisor, but it's kind of nice because the customer comes to you. You know that they're looking for work to be done. You know that they're ready to pay. And typically, if you can get to them first, I try to message everyone right away, give them a call right away, uh, hit back on them. If you don't get them out right away, you know, call them later in the day or tomorrow. And um, it's nice because you know that they are actually looking for that service. I'm actually, as I'm making this video, I, I'm getting I'm getting a notification right now from Home Advisor that someone near me needs a, a cleaning on their house. So I have just uh, basically accepted without doing anything to pay the lead fee for that notification that I just got. If I get that job, it's not gonna matter. If I get that job, I know that it's not gonna be anything less than 275. Um, so that $15, $25 lead, whatever it's gonna be, I, I don't care about. Um, it, it's, it's the price of getting the business. But if I don't get that job, if someone beats me to it or beats me on the price, and I still have to pay that lead. So that's why with those three, those are the three that I do the most, um, that's why it's really good to have all three and because you're gonna get you're gonna get people from all different all different areas whether they're looking for the job already on home advisor um, or if you're gonna if they use Facebook or don't use Facebook the EDDM and the Facebook is gonna help you get in front of as much people as possible um, so when you guys are looking to, to get started my recommendation to you um, would be to start on Facebook. I would create a Facebook page, get your name out there. You can start posting pictures of the work that you do, uh, let people kind of see the quality of the work that you're doing. Uh, and you can post some before and after pictures of the work that you're doing. And then what I do is if I get a good job, I'll take a good before and after picture, and then I'll post that to my page, and that's also what I'll boost as a, as a post. So I'll be like, hey, you need a roof wash. This is uh, a really dirty roof that I just did. This is what it looks like when I'm done. And then typically within a day or so at the most, you're gonna start getting some, some notifications that people are, are interested in finding out more about that. So Facebook is definitely the most economical. I think you can get the most bang for your buck, but you're not gonna be able to reach everyone through Facebook. Um, the direct door mail is super effective, but there's a, a price tag on it. And then the home advisor is gonna be a nice piece of your business. Um, but you know you just kind of got to get comfortable with um, paying for stuff that you might not actually you're gonna be paying home advisor for stuff every once in a while that you're not actually gonna get paid on but if you use it for like I've been using it all summer this is my first year using home advisor um, you know the the pros outweigh the cons so far so another thing that I would recommend doing or that I would recommend that you guys do that I do is keep an Excel sheet. Every time you go on a job, put down the address, the name of the person, their phone number, what you did for them. Um, if you did a gutter clean for them this fall, well, most likely they're gonna wanna gutter clean next fall. So why pay marketing to reach out to that person? You got their number, send them a text, be like, hey, you know, it's fall again. Did your gutters last year? This is the price we did. We had a good relationship. Why don't, uh, why don't we do that again? So if you start keeping a record of the work that you're doing, and how to get in contact with these people, uh, you can save your stuff. You can save yourself some uh, some some money on marketing by just sending them a, a quick text message. Um, the other thing that I do in that Excel sheet 
is I ask people, um, or you know, sometimes it's self-explanatory if it's on Facebook. You can say, okay, I, I reached, I got in contact with this guy through um, through Facebook. So I'm going to put down Facebook. You know, this guy came from Home Advisor, so I'm going to put down Home Advisor on him. Um, and then at the end of the year, I, I also put down the price that everyone paid, so I can see, okay, I had X amount of dollars. Um, I had X amount of dollars of income come from Home Advisor. I had X amount of money come from Facebook. I had X amount of money come from the mailers. And then you can take it one step further, and also in that Excel sheet, start putting down how much money you spent on Facebook. How much money did I spend on Home Advisor leads? How much money did I spend on direct door marketing? So you can look and say, all right, I spent $1,000 on Facebook this summer, but it made me six grand. That's a pretty good return. I spent, you know, $5,000 on mailers this year, but then I got, you know, fifteen dollars or $20,000 back. And, you know, these are, these are real numbers. You, you can expect that. Um, and then, you know, then you can start to say, you know, maybe Home Advisor isn't working your area. Maybe there's a lot of people that aren't really using, there are a lot of people that aren't really using uh, Home Advisor. So you can say, okay, well, man, I spent like six or 700 bucks on Home Advisor leads this year, but I really wasn't getting, I really wasn't getting any money from it. So who knows, maybe you're not gonna use Home Advisor next year, but this will give you a, a way to kind of give an educated guess on, you know, where you're gonna spend your marketing the following year. So keep an Excel sheet, mark all that stuff down, figure out what you're paying and what kind of return you're getting on all these different services, and then just figure out which one works best for you. Um, so I hope that helps. Again, check back on some of those older videos if you're new to Facebook uh, marketing and Facebook, uh, sending out Facebook posts. Uh, again, there's a video on there step-by-step step on exactly what buttons to push and, and where you need to be to send those mailers out. So, or excuse me, send those Facebook ads out. So hopefully that helps. And we got a little bit more coming for you guys. So keep, uh, keep tuned. We'll see you later.